Here we are at the Laws Museum with a replica head frame from Marble Canyon. And we have Julie today and we have Jay from the Laws Museum. I think he can tell us a little more about this head frame. Yeah, we went out to Marble Canyon, which is about halfway between here and Death Valley. Uh, we knew the head frame was out there. We went out with a uh, camera and tape measure and took measurements, photos, and plan to replicate the head frame that's out there that was actually in use of placer mining for gold in the wash, again, about halfway between here and Death Valley. We were going to build the head frame and about the same time we received this unit. The <clears throat> engine was separated from the winch system, uh, but they were a unit. Uh, the engine was frozen up uh, and uh, so we took the, the cylinder heads off and poured automatic transmission fluid in the cylinders and with a pipe wrench right here. You cranked it over? Worked it back and forth until we broke it loose. Did little else except change spark plugs, uh, clean the carburetor, change the oil, uh, married it back to the winch system and now it's somewhat dependable. Now this is a Wisconsin looks like a four-cylinder. Yes, uh, Wisconsin four-cylinder air-cooled engine. Okay. Very very common on uh, agricultural equipment right because you don't have to worry about water and, and the freezing situation in fact that 15 horsepower engine you videoed last year right has a cracked block oh. because it has uh, frozen frozen oh yes you don't so you'll the jacket never, you'll the, never have that problem with an air cool so the water jacket froze on that that's thing. right yes and is this a this a skip car this this is an ore car ore car uh, that is a contrivance in that it would have been a skip, not an ore car. I see. But is They're just museum, shaped, are they shaped a little differently as most of uh, you? Yes, uh, and a skip would be more like this open-ended unit over here where the pulleys okay. are hung. Right, right, I see it. The oh, so that's, oh, that doesn't have a, a gate on it then? No, General. it does not have a tail. So that just tips. Yes, the ore car has a tailgate. Okay, let's see how dependable old Wisconsin is. And how many horsepower is this? We're not exactly sure. Oh, you're not, okay. Uh, but uh, judging from the serial number, we think it's around uh, 15 horsepower. I was going to guess 20, but... Yeah, yeah we, maybe I'm being conservative, <laughs> but at the same time, let's, let's see if we can produce some horsepower. Well, it tried. It fired, yeah. That's pretty cool. It's, it's a bit of a crowd pleaser. It really awesome. it is. I bet. Yeah. That's cool. Um, so she fires right up with your hand crank, huh? It fired right up. And this is the clutch lever. This is actually the braking That's system. That's a, a band brake? It's a band brake. Yeah, I can see when you're moving that. See? How, right, oh, right, right. How it tightens that band around the drum. And now your clutch, you say, has actually got a clutch. Yes, it's on an eccentric down here. Okay. Uh, and once I, I lower the skip back down into the shaft for the miners to fill back up again, uh, we'll, we'll take a, a second look at this clutching system. Okay, let me watch the car come down. I think you're there. That's pretty neat. So this this clutch, uh, you you see how 
as it moves in this direction, how it tightens okay. the gap between oh, okay. the shaft. I see. I think I understand it. Ah. Okay. And do you know what year this engine is? Roughly? Judging from the serial number, it's, uh, it, it's uh, just post-war, probably. Uh, 40s? And when I say post-war, <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, <laughs> 40s. Sorry, let's, let's say 1945, <laughs> post-World War. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks so much for the tour and the, the demonstration. Hey, you're welcome. It's, uh, it's our, our pleasure. We like uh, doing this for our uh, visitors. Uh, we, we like to produce smiles. And, and look at Tom. <laughs> <laughs> He's smiling. Julie's smiling. Yep, Julie's smiling. And, uh, we like it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, thanks for coming out. You bet. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it.